I'm Hendrik, welcome back to the Cool Kitchen, and today I'm showing you how to make a French cut calf cake. The cut calf cake is a traditional French recipe from the region of Bretagne or Brittany, and it's a fantastic cake. It's really incredibly easy to make. But it's got real character, it's incredibly rich, it really showcases the whole region. And it's really easy because it just really uses four ingredients. That's why it's called quatre meaning four parts or four quarters. So you're using just four ingredients and you're using the same amount of those ingredients. And the first thing you want to start with is eggs, because that determines how much you're going to use of the rest. And I've got a goose egg here, and I just love goose eggs. Every time I cook with goose eggs, they're just amazing. I mean, they're proper eggs, you know, like, just look at the size. They're just fantastic, and they make the best, richest cakes. So, if you have the chance of getting goose eggs, try to get them. Otherwise, just use, like, three to four normal eggs. But we'll have to weigh these anyway. And then you're going to use butter. I'm using some French salted butter, uh, which is traditional in the recipe. Uh, you should really use salted butter, good quality butter. Quality makes a huge difference in this recipe, you know. So, um, and if, well, if you don't use salted butter, you'll have to just add a pinch of salt. And then we have caster sugar and just regular plain flour. Now we're going to weigh everything to see how much we need of each ingredient. So egg first, just going to put it like that on a scale and it's just over 150 grams. That's perfect. So that's normally the amount of eggs you use. And then we're just going to crack it open and I want to show you this. So I'll show you the yolk. This is just amazing. Gotta love goose eggs. Whoa. Look at that yolk, that's a proper yolk, and look at the color. Honestly, goose eggs are amazing, so if you've never tried goose eggs, especially in cake, get them. We're going to weigh our butter because we have to melt it. So I'm just gonna put it on, see? Yeah, that's right, that's perfect. Just gonna cover, put it up into a few pieces. And just melt it on a medium heat, or you could use a microwave. But we're just too medieval for that. Have to do it old school. Next is your sugar. Let's see. Uh -huh. A bit more. And right. So this you just whisk in with the egg. Nothing complicated about it. Just put it in and whisk and look at that color of the yolk wow see it's not even yellow anymore it's almost orange our butter is ready we just let it cool down for a bit because it shouldn't be too hot obviously because you don't want scrambled eggs and number two and you just whisk that for one or two minutes until it's fully combined Beautiful, look at that, it's so glossy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Here we have our final step. Measure your flour. A bit more. Perfetto. And you don't have to serve it, you don't have to fold it, nothing fancy. This is a real sort of farmhouse recipe. It's a classic Breton recipe, so it's just about Good food, good ingredients, making it quickly and just super easy. There we go, and that's it. So there's no other flavors, nothing else to flavor this cake except what you've put in the basic, basic cake recipe, you know, ingredients. So, and this looks absolutely beautiful. So then you just take a pre-buttered baking form, and we'd like to use a rectangular one for this recipe. And yep, you just put it in. And doesn't that just look amazing? Mm. There we 
go. The rest is for me. So there we are. Nothing much to do there. And this will go into a 180 degrees um, pre-warmed oven for, who knows really, it's like 25 to 30 minutes. But you really have to um, test it, that's the way to do it. I mean, this is a recipe from back in the days where you didn't have exact temperatures and so on. So people just put it in the oven and just, you know, got it out when it was done. So that's what we're going to do. you how to test it just in case <laughs> you don't know how so it doesn't obviously puff up much but it's not one of those super light kicks it's really all about the goodness and the texture so if you want to test just use a skewer and if it comes out clean it's perfect so here's our finished product we just let our cake cool down for a few hours and you should well you can eat it warm if you like to and it's really nice but the whole flavor really comes through if it's cooled down properly. Um, so we just let it cool down. So now I'm going to cut it open. Show what it looks like. So it's not a very tall cake. But it has a beautiful golden color. And it's got a fantastic crumb. Mm. And dense texture is really great. It's just really rich. Mm. If you want a tall cake. Mm. So nice. Sorry. <laughs> if you want a taller cake, you can obviously just make more batter or use a smaller baking uh, form or shape, you know, whatever. So, uh, but don't use any baking powder because, you know, it's a traditional recipe, so. But I love cut calf cake for this time of the year when there's lots of fresh strawberries about. And my favorite combination is really strawberries and cream. Uh, there we go. Mm. And there's cake. So we hope you give this wonderful recipe a try and we hope you'll give goose eggs a try. And please let us know in the comment section how you liked it. Thank you very much.